Once upon a time, there was a man who was plummeting to his death. Given the title of this story, this should come as no surprise to anyone. Perhaps it was intentional this fall. Perhaps not. That really doesn't matter in the end because one way or the other, this man was plummeting to his death, a fact that I am certain he would want me to stop repeating. But there he was, plummeting. It was a long fall. It was such a long fall, in fact, that his nose began to itch. He hadn't realized until that point that he had curled himself into a ball so tight he couldn't move, let alone scratch his nose. But you know how it is when your nose itches and you can't scratch it. It is undeniable. So he did what anyone who was falling to his death this long would do. He scratched his nose, and it occurred to him that he was moving, and he was falling, and nothing about that was really changing. And this static state of constant plummeting continued to defy change. Eventually, the man relaxed a bit, practically stretching out right there on a pocket of plummety gusts. He was surprisingly comfortable. So much so that when he realized this was his greatest fear, that he should somehow be too comfortable while plummeting to his death, he was just thankful he was alone. It embarrassed him in a way. And once he felt embarrassment, he felt a rainbow of emotions starting violently with absolute stark terror through amusement and all the way down to boredom. The entire situation was downright boring after a while, and there are no advice columns for people who get bored with their plummet to death. There's no counseling for that. You just have to make it work. Just make it work, because eventually this guy was going to die, and... And that's when the man who was plummeting to his death realized all of this when the undeniable facts of his life exploded within his brain and he knew he would die. His death was imminent. His final moments would be spent in this fall. His choice was not one of action. Action was happening all around him as gravity reeled him in like a mighty fish. No. His choice was one of acceptance, one of love. Hating the fall, dreading the fall, raving with terror over the fall would not help him one bit. Those actions would only hurt him and cause him more suffering. He knew that this fall was his life, and his life was his fall. The two were one. There were no distinctions. His wisest choice, therefore, would be to accept the fall, enjoy the fall, and even love the fall. For to love your fall into utter nothingness is to love eternity itself. To love your greatest pain is to master that pain. To love your death sentence is to transcend your death sentence. And so the man who was plummeting to his death brought his arms up behind him, scooping the air with a great gust, spinning on his center of gravity, wherever that might be, until he felt the wind in his face. And he spread his arms and legs into the mighty winds of his fall into eternity, and he embraced it. <laughs> <laughs>